Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. The Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Stay Matte Powder. How do you say it? The thing that I want to say is... <laughs> What's up guys? So in today's video, I have a somewhat normal video and it hasn't been ages since I posted my last one, which is all good news. But before we get into it, I just want to get a few things covered. One, I never picked a giveaway winner for my Brandy Melville Signs DIY giveaway back in December. So I'm gonna do that at the end of this video. So if you wanna to watch till the end to see if you won one of those two signs I made, then keep watching. And the other thing that I wanna ask is, all my life I've been super into traveling, and as some of you probably know, I studied abroad a year ago. I was in London for five months, and I also went to 15 other countries while I was there. And I'm going back to London in two weeks. So. I basically love talking about travel and I'm definitely planning on making some more travel related videos soon. Some that have to do with like makeup and stuff, like travel size, stuff like that, and some that are just, just plainly travel related. So if any of you guys would like to see some of those kind of videos, I could do like special ones talking specifically about study abroad and I could do like study abroad Q&A's so you guys who are going to study abroad you can ask me stuff about my experience, about what to expect or what to pack and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments and give it a thumbs up to let me know that. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that on Sunday I'm going to be filming a regular Q&A that's not related to travel. I mean, you guys can ask travel-related questions, but um, they don't have to be just travel. So if you want to ask me anything or you is there anything like specific that you want to know about me, then definitely leave those questions down below. If you want, you can tweet them to me too. I think that's everything I needed to cover at the beginning. Remember to stay tuned till the end to find out who the giveaway winners are. And for now, let's get into the video. This video is going to be called Grab Bag, and this is something that I literally made up on the spot. Not on the spot, I made it up last night. But I made it up. I've never seen anyone else do this before. I don't think it exists. You often see videos about empty products or good products or bad products. They're all kind of clumped in one category. But in this video, I'm gonna go to my makeup collection and I'm gonna pick out random products. Like, I'm gonna close my eyes and pick one and then I have to tell you guys what I think of it. Whether it's good or bad or brand new or whether I like it or hate it or whatever it is. So let's just get into it and I'm gonna pick some items. So the first product that I yanked out of there is this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And this is in the color Transparent. I love this, I've been through so many of these. They just lock your foundation in and they keep it fairly matte throughout the day. I've hit pan, so I'm gonna need a new one soon. But it's definitely a great powder. The next thing is a mascara. This is the Revlon Gr Lash Potion Grow Luscious Mascara. And this stuff, I'm very, I love. This is an odd product for me. I got this a few years ago. Bad to say. And I'm just gonna disclaim this by saying that I don't always follow the um, expiration dates of products, especially if I don't use them right when I first buy them. But like this mascara still has a lot of product left. I've never gotten an eye infection, knock on wood, from using mascara that's too old. And I know they're supposed to be like bacteria and stuff, but I probably won't stop doing it until I ever get an eye infection, if that ever happens. Um, but anyway, sometimes I think mascaras are even better if you let them dry out a little bit. I just really like it. I have it on today. Put it on like one stroke and your lashes are like buffoon. And then I have another mascara to talk about, which is Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. Again, this one I'm not a huge, huge fan of. This is one of those ones that people like jumped on the bandwagon about and they like loved it and I got it because everyone loved it and I don't like it that much. The next product that I pulled out is a Maybelline Color Tattoo. And this is in the shade Bad to the Bronze, obviously because it's the classic shade and I have a few other ones but this was on top. Um, this is a gorgeous metallic -y eyeshadow base. If you guys haven't heard of these, where have you been? I still put a 
primer on underneath it just because my eyelids tend to crease pretty easily so I don't want to risk getting creases in my eyeshadow so even though you could probably use this and it would be fine as just your base um, and your primer I like putting the primer on underneath it anyway I've got a few lip product I have this lipstick it's like a highlighter orange in the shade Shocking Coral and this is the Maybelline Vivids line. I don't know why I bought this because I don't really wear like crazy colors like this. I think I've worn this once maybe. Um, and it's good, like it's a good formulation, it's a pretty pretty color. It smells good. It smells like candy or something. But I just never wear it because it's not my color. I might depop that, but it's a pretty color. And if you're into vivid colors, then I would recommend it. The next thing I have is something that I love. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks in the color Lady and the Vamp. And this color is shocking. So when I said I don't like vivid colors, I like shocking colors in terms of dark. Like I love wearing dark kind of more vampy colors, but I don't really like wearing the bright, bright colors. So any sort of like berry tone really appeals to me, including this one. And it's so pretty and I love these balm stains. They're super cheap and they're really good quality and they last forever. Like when they say they stain your lips, they stain your lips. Then we've got um, the Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquers in the color Stellar. And this is again, one of those really bright colors. I love these products, they're amazing but I never wear this one. Like the ones that I tend to gravitate more towards are like Comet, this one here. Um, I also really like Galaxy, which is this one here. So as you can see, these two are more me. This one is more not me. Next, I've got a foundation. This is the Revlon Colorstay 24 Hour Foundation. And mine is the color Buff, my favorite foundation combination right now is these two together. I don't know if you can tell in the light, but they're a pretty drastic color difference. And I love this foundation, but the color selection sucks. There's not that much of a choice for you to choose. So I got like the lightest color, I'm pretty sure, when I was in London last year. And it's so dark still. So I combine it with this super light foundation and they blend out to my perfect skin tone. Second to last, I've got this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the color Greed, which is gold. I love this. I use this every day. Every day. Not even a joke. If I'm, no, not even if I'm wearing eyeshadow. If I'm wearing eyeshadow, I use this as a base. If I'm not wearing eyeshadow, I use this, and it's just by itself. Then the last product in this video is probably, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's the most, it's kind of a cheater product, to be honest. This is the Naked Urban Decay on the Run palette. And if you guys know me at all, then you know that I don't really buy high-end makeup. As you can probably tell from the rest of the product from this video, I pretty much stick to drugstore because I just am of the mindset that like, if you can get the same thing at the drugstore, why would you pay $50 for a tiny little thing of lipstick? That's just my personal opinion and I understand that if you have that money and you want to spend it on makeup, then go for it. Like that's, if it, it's your life and your choice and that if that's what makes you happy, then that, then more power to you. But to me, I'd rather save that money for like traveling and stuff like that and spend um, a little bit on cheap stuff at the drugstore. That being said, this palette was a Christmas gift from my parents. So I did not buy this with my own money. And I'm very thankful for them to them for getting this for me. But I love this palette so much. If you guys haven't seen it, which I'm pretty sure you all have, but I'll just show it to you really fast. Um, it comes with mascara, which is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And I want to say I've only used this once, so I don't remember if I liked it or not. I think I liked it. They have the Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay in Stag, which is a really pretty kind of brown color with a little bit of shimmer in it and then there's the naked lip gloss in the color sesso which is very gorgeous it's kind of like a nude sort of there are five eyeshadows here which are in the color dive fix resist dare and stun and then there's a highlighter and a blush and a bronzer i tried 
I think like three or four of the eyeshadows and they're so pretty. I've never owned a naked palette before, so um, like I've used my friends before, so I've used the pigment, like I've seen the pigment before, but I've never had my own, so this is like a treasure. This is a treasure to me. All right, so those are the 10 products that I was gonna talk about today in my grab bag video. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if any of you are interested in doing this grab bag type video, then you definitely should because I think it's a cool idea. Instead of picking like your best products or your worst products, you just pick random products and say whether you like them or not. So now I'm gonna get into the two winners of my giveaway. So the winner for the Insta Famous sign is going to be fairly interested on YouTube. So I'm going to direct message you, but you have won the Insta Famous sign. And then the winner of the Babe Cave sign is going to be Roshni Mukherjee. And I know that I just literally butchered your name and I'm really sorry, but um, you have won the Babe Cave sign, so I will be private messaging both of you guys to get your contact information. But thank you to everyone who entered, that was a really fun video for me to make. If you guys are interested, I think this summer I'm going to be making a lot more of those signs and maybe opening up an Etsy shop and like sending them to people. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will talk to you all in my next one. And don't forget to leave me questions about anything that you want me to answer in the comments below and let me know also if you would be interested in more travel videos so i'll talk to you guys soon bye